Hello learners. In this lecture, we will try to model the terrace floor and also we'll try to apply the load on that. Now, if I go to the terrace floor, I can see only the grid lines. I'll select on control D and my grid lines have come and there is nothing else. So what I'm going to do, I'll select everything that is there in the second floor, right? And I'll go to edit. I'll say replicate and now I'll say go to the story option and now I'll replicate that in the terrace portion and I'll say apply, right? So you can see it here, the terrace portion has been created. Now I'll go to the terrace portion from here. Now we have a few changes to do it here. The first change is that if you look all the slabs here, I'll try to see the loads that is coming here. I'll go to apply. I'm, I'll go to this display shell load assigns. And first I'll try to see what is SIDL load, what I've applied here. So everywhere the SIDL load is 1.5, right? Second thing is I'll see the live load, what I've applied. Everywhere the live load is the same thing what we have applied it in the second floor like three, three, four and all. But if you observe the code book and we already know that if you're putting a load in the roof, that is a terrace is a roof portion. And if, you ha if it has, if it has an axis, we have to put it as 1.5 kilonewton per square meter. And if it doesn't have axis, we have to put it as 0 0.75, right? So I'll quickly show that. Anyhow, we have seen it in the basic sections. Yeah, you can see it here. This is for the impose live load on various types of roof. You have to put 1.5 if there is access provided and if not, you have to take 0.75. So we have access provided here because this is my terrace and I have a staircase here. So quickly what I'm going to do, I'll select all the slabs in this way. Yeah, I feel all the slabs have been selected. I'll go to assign, I'll go to shell load, I'll go to a new form. And here under the live, I'll say it has to be 1.5, right? And now I'll say replace the load and say apply. So everywhere 1.5 kilonewton per square meter of the uh, live load has been applied, right? Yeah. Now coming to the SIDL load. Now, since this is a terrace portion, the client requirement is that he need to do a waterproofing works here, right? So that is the reason we cannot take the floor finish as 1.5 kilonewton per square meter what we had taken it in the uh, second floor in the first floor if i show you how that waterproofing work is done this is called as brick bat coba right so in this way we put a brick bats and over that we are going to give a slope so that the water will not stay there and it will try to flow so let us consider the thickness what we are using it right here let us consider the thickness of this is something five inches so this five inches comes out to be 0. 1 to 5 meter and since it's a brick bat the unit weight of brick bat is 20. Now try to do this multiplication that is 20 into 0. 0.125 it comes out to be 2.5 kilonewton per square meter. So this is my floor finished load in the terrace this is because of the uh, waterproofing work that I'm going to do. Now this 5 inch is not constant again. Here I've taken it as 5 inches. Let us say you're working on some projects and they've told you that 4 inches is what we are considering. In that case you can consider this to be 4 inches and you can take it as 0 0.1. In that case your load comes out to be 2 kilonewton per square meter. Let us say you're working on some other project and they've insisted you to take this as 6 inches. Then it comes out to be 0 0.15. And based on that, your live load will come out to be 3 kilonewton per square meter. So based on the requirement, we'll try to do this waterproofing work, right? I'll clear everything. And I'm considering 2.5 kilonewton per square meter as a uh, SIDL load on my terrace portion. I'll go here. I'll select all the slab. So what you can do, you can click on this PS option. Since we had selected all the slabs previously, if you click on this PS previous selection, all your slabs will be selected go to the assign, go to shell load, go to any form and here under SIDL, take it as 2.5. That's it and say apply. So again, you don't have to apply that uh, SIDL load of 1.5 kilonewton per square meter on this again. If you want, you can add it, but again, you will be adding more load on your slab. So that is a reason I'm not going to add that thing here as well, right? So all the things we have completed here, the live load is applied and the uh, SI, uh, live load and the SIDL load is applied. Now, if I see all the frame element, I'll click on the frame, display frame load assigns SIDL. So what has happened? 
everywhere the sidl load has come right but i don't want this to happen because since it's a terrace portion my load applying on this terrace portion is only the parapet load we know that yeah right and only the parapet load will be acting in the terrace portion and that too on the all the exterior beams so that is the reason what i'm going to do i'll select all the beams what i have here the better option to select that is click here and say remove this column and remove the floor option and say apply close it and select it in this way so all my beams have been selected go to assign go to frame load go to distributed and whatever sidl you have applied right say delete the exist okay i am considering the temperature load go to assign go to shell load go to uniform sidl delete all those load what we have applied right okay let me select it again delete existing loads sidl apply let me select it again replace it let me put zero here and say apply. okay and now it's done let me check it again display frame load sidl and apply okay it's still there let me select it go to assign go to frame load go to distributed okay sorry i was taking the shell element yeah sidl and here let me take it as zero and say apply okay yeah so right so everything is there no only the outer beams will be subjected to that uh, wall load so i'll select only the outer beams in this way you can select it in this way as well okay and take these things now yeah right yeah all the outer beams have been selected now go to assign go to frame load go to distributed and what will be my uh, parapet load it is actually 2.5 kilo newton per meter we'll see that again what we have taken sidl parapet load is 2.4 what i'm considering i'll take it as 20 height i'll take it as 1.2 and the thickness let me consider it has to be 100 mm so it comes out to be 2.4 kilo newton per meter and i'll input here go to assign go to frame go to distributed and sidl i'll consider it has to be 2.4 and i'll say apply so all the outer beams what i have the parapet load has been assigned to that right that's it i think we have done everything here sidl load is completed we have put the live load we have put the floor finish load and nothing is left out and only thing is this particular portion what we have again we'll be considering a small mumty level here so what i'm gonna do i'll quickly do that as well click on column click on floor click on apply right everything has come i'll select this much portion and i'll go to edit i'll say replicate and this thing i'll replicate it in the headroom or a overhead tank and say apply you can see that that has been replicated here i'll show it here right yeah it has been replicated here uh, so again the load has come again these loads are not required here since we will not putting any load on these beams they're just to support the slab so i'll go to assign i'll go to frame load and go to distributed and i'll say make it as zero zero so i'm not putting any load on that and but i need to put a slab here so this becomes a, again a one-way slab right it's a one-way slab here uh, just by looking at the dimension we can uh, do that that this looks like a one-way slab anyhow the, the, since this comes under the staircase staircase portion i'll take it later when i put a slab for the staircase portion other than that we have completed all the modeling of this there's nothing left here uh, only the thing is we have to put the support i'll go to the support that is a foundation part and uh, i'm in one story i'll select everything here in this way I'll go to assign joint restraints and I'll say fix support and I'll say apply and close. If you select here and click on this, no, you can see everywhere the fix support has come, right? Yeah. 
yeah the fixed support has come everywhere right everything is completed modeling point of view applying load everything is completed there is nothing left only the staircase portion is left out we'll try to do that and now if you see it model this is my plinth level this is my plinth beam layout this is my first floor slab second floor slab this is my terrace portion and this is my a mumpty level or the overhead tank right so if i'm standing in the ground floor if i'm standing here this becomes my ground floor layout so that is a reason in the autocad i put this as in the autocad i put this as plinth beam layout and then i have written here ground floor or we can call this as first floor slab beam layout it's one and the same right right if you are standing here this becomes your ground ground floor so it's, it becomes my ground floor beam layout or you can call this as first floor uh, first floor layout first floor beam and the slab details similarly if you stand here this becomes my second floor and if you stand here this becomes my terrace portion level right so everything is completed the modeling part and all in the next lecture we'll try to see how to analyze this model and we'll try to see how to create the staircase portions and all yeah i hope these things are cleared up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you